friends, so I thought I'd record a video today having a little catch up with you guys. I feel like I haven't made a video in a really long time, but it's because I haven't. Um, I did a little naughty thing and actually pre-uploaded a video, and I completely forgot that I had done that. It was that slimming, helping you guys video, and I put that up in December, and I thought I would have some videos to put in between, like, my last uploaded one in December to January, and I didn't have any because it was just all a bit... Rush Rush, Christmas, New Year, my birthday, I didn't really have anything and then I forgot I'd pre-uploaded that one so that one was technically my first video of 2015 but it wasn't actually one I'd made in 2015 so this one, this video here that you're watching now is technically my first video of 2015 so Happy New Year, I know that's like way in the past now but happy new year anyway so i thought to say that so this video is just going to be like a little catch up and kind of a what i've been loving at the moment video not a favorites because i kind of want to do something new and share with you some kind of my thoughts ideas of things i've been liking at the moment um i'm going to do it in blog post form as well so i'll rule write an accompany accompanying company is that right a post to go with this video um on my blog so i will link all that below for you in case you feel like you want to read instead of watching this ugly mug talk to you so it's up to you if you want to read or hear so um first up um i had some new year's resolutions and they were to get fit and um eat less not really happened right now i mean i have a whole jar a freshly baked biscotti that I made yesterday. Oh no, it's not very good. But yeah, I kind of really like it. And it's just, I'm going to do a blog post to go with it because I've like taken pictures as I was baking. So you can cook them yourself or cook them, bake them yourself if you wish. But yeah, I've really wanted to bake something. And I know these aren't healthy, but they're not as bad as some things because there's no fats in there like there's no butter margarine oil or anything like that it's just flour sugar i know sugar's bad but flour sugar baking powder um almonds and some candied peel and stuff like that and basically that's it so obviously the sugar is bad but it's not terrible if you're just gonna have one or two with your tea if you know what i mean so there are worse things you can eat but you know Anyway, so I've kind of been in the baking mood lately, but that was my first bake of 2015 and I just want to like, or oh, eat it all, but yeah, put them over there, try and not look, but yeah. Also on a blog post I did, um, I will link it below because I'll keep referring to it probably, um, me and my mum went on our first uh, French conversational course um, yesterday and it was like really embarrassing because it was like, it was a two hour course, we're doing it over six weeks and I really just wanted to learn something my mum said like, do you fancy doing this with me? And I was like, yeah, 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 you know. And she kind of bought it for me as a Christmas present, which was really nice. And we had our first lesson yesterday and oh my God, going back into the classroom and like being put on the spot and like, and the French teacher, Danielle, was like, Angela, can you repeat these sentences on the whiteboard? And it's like, oh, God, it's really like, and like I have the problem where my mouth and my brain just don't really work together sometimes they're kind of connected but there's a loose wire somewhere in there and my brain says it properly and my mouth just goes the the je suis kind of thing it just it's not good but it's just really embarrassing and it's like it's adults in the class there's like two there's a um couple and there's a girl on her own or I say girl woman on her own and there's an older guy who's like must be 40s so I'm probably the youngest one in the class and I'm 31 so my mum's with me as well and she's like 50s so um my mum is apparently the top dog in the class at the moment because my teacher was like oh you know a lot of friends you're just like oh my god my mum is like the geek of the class so it's you know quite fun but yeah it's quite terrifying because if you know from my videos when I like kind of pick up a product and try and like read what it is and I'm like uh that's what I was like in class and it was just like being at school again and being like feeling really stupid <laughs> like I don't know why I'm putting myself through it but hopefully I will learn 
some basic conversational French so if I go over to France I will basically try and talk their language instead of relying on the good old English language instead of you know trying to blend in with the folk in the country you know what I mean so that was that and we've basically got some books uh, me and my mum went to WH Smith and we bought some school books each we bought this one and that one and we're just trying to up our knowledge on French basically so hopefully and I've also got homework which is like crazy because I haven't had homework for like 14 years but yeah I have homework to do for next Saturday so all well and good um another thing I have been into lately is the legend that is Sam Smith he is amazing um I introduced my mum to Sam Smith I said to her download this album you won't regret it and at first she was a bit like oh, it's not really my thing and then the other day she actually said to me I'm so glad you told me to download that album by Sam Smith because it's amazing and it's just like I told you so yeah I've got my 50 plus mum loving Sam Smith so I think that he is basically to me he's like Stephen Hawkins of vocals and singing songwriting he's just like the legend he's just i that that guy that boy that man he's got a big future in music i think because i think he's amazing and just like even when you listen to his songs i think the lyrics are very they're very personal and anyone can relate to them and i just think he's amazing and anyone who doesn't like him or hasn't heard of him or just doesn't know any songs by him I just think have you been living under a rock because you need to come out of that rock and go and listen to Sam Smith I dare you to because I think you will like him another thing that I have been to, into lately is taking supplements I've just finished my 30 day um, duo um, tablets from perfect seven that's on the wrong way but yeah I've been taking these for the last 30 days and I just finished I started a new packet but I've been really into supplements because I'm not getting any like younger um also like age is starting to affect me like wrinkles and my hair and my nails and I'd been kind of trying to think of a supplement to take and it wasn't until I was kind of approached to um, they haven't told me to mention this in this video. I have done a collaboration post on my blog with them, just an FYI, disclaimer. But I haven't been told to mention them in a video. But, um, I don't know, I just, I needed to get on and take a supplement of some sort. Because I, I wanted to start taking folic acid for reasons, if you are a woman, you should know that you take folic acid if you're preparing to, you know, conceive a child. That's what I was kind of doing. This has some folic acid in it and it has other things like, uh, let me have a read, it has vitamin D, E, C, ribofafin, I don't know. See, I can't pronounce anything. Magnesium, zinc, copper, iodine, iron, biotin, B12, folic acid, B6. Has a lot of stuff in here and it's all gonna help you basically um, look younger feel younger and help your heart vision your brain function all that kind of stuff this is what that's gonna help so um, there is a male version as well because this is perfect um, seven woman there is a perfect seven man and that has different little tweaks in there because obviously men and women aren't the same so you can't obviously take the same supplements because you know different things for different people but anyway um i just really have been into taking my supplements because i just i feel like i just need it i'm at that time in my life when i think actually i really need to start taking care of my body from the inside out i mean i use lots of face creams and try and cleanse my skin and the outside of my body but you kind of need to start thinking from the inside out because that's important in there because looks always change but the inside of your body always it just needs a little bit of TLC you know what I mean? so been into that and then finally I've been into eye cream because I got this free with a magazine called healthy I picked it up the other day and they had this um, Dr. Organics organic rose otter um, eye serum and I've been really liking it but it's very weird because it smells of rose and I love the smell of rose it's one of my favourite scents out there, but it's very potent and it's strange to put rose 
under your eyes because you can smell it when you put it on your face but it's it's nice and I've actually felt like a good difference to my eyes I feel more plumped and not so like hollow under there because I'm a bit of a um, issue with dryness under here and I get a little bit like my skin kinds of bunches up where it's not got any moisture in it so this has been really really good actually so I've been into moisturizing my under eyes quite a bit so that's everything I've been into lately cooking baking bit of French study taking my supplements Sam Smith oh and my eye cream so yeah hope you enjoy my video and I'm gonna try and do some posts or videos like this um, throughout the year because I just think it's I like doing favourite videos but I just want to do something else as well it's not all about favourite perfume, favourite lip gloss you know I want to do other things that are happening in my life lately than just favourites once, like once a month type thing so I hope you like thumbs up if you do let me know talk to me be my friend hi and goodbye bye